Hey there, my name is August and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Audubon, Audubon by Suicide Boys and I actually have listened to a few, a little bit of this band before. I did one video on the song Antarctica a few months ago and that song has been basically rent free in my head since then. So I'm very excited and I've heard that this one should be a little bit more aggressive in its sound. Which I mean, I'm excited about because, again, metalhead. <laughs> And it's a pretty short song, and I've got a, a nice cup of coffee, so let's see if we can get through this and the song at the same time. I really don't think we can, because I just brewed this, so um, why don't we just get started. New Orleans is ruled by thugs even more ruthless than L.A.'s most violent gangs. Okay. You know, the Crimson Bloods try to establish themselves here. These guys... Crimson Bloods, I think I've heard of them, because I, I, I just heard of them, uh, like, historically. That, that sounds familiar to me. I think it's a gang, right? I mean, it also sounds like it. Simple as that. Gone. See you later. We look at gangs like this. It's like a cow. So, like with Antarctica, we have this, like, ambient, like, soundscape in the background of some here, some narration from what it sounds like a radio station. Us. But a gang, it takes 15 people to get in two cars and do a drive by and kill one person. In New Orleans, I just saw one person kill. Like it's still very faintly in the background, just building up towards what I'm assuming is a pretty hard hitting uh, drop. Okay. 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 Am I supposed to be able to hear what they're saying? Definition of living dead. Got a dead bitch gave a head. Yeah. Two new flowers growing on my bed. Brought some blood settle on my leg. Broke a soul, but I'm breaking bread. It sounds almost a little bit like Corpse Husband, if you if you know him. You probably do. If you don't, look him up. His voice is, is insane. But this is very creepy sounding, and I very much like that. It sounds... I think I described their uh, song in Antarctica a little bit like it sounded like a more hip hoppy version of a Danish black metal band called Redwood Hill and I'm getting a similar vibe here if you by the way are into creepy and like distorted music check out Red Redwood Hill their song Poseidon fucking slap you're right here I fainted out scream that's really cool. Turn up on the swing like a helicopter. Got a cover in this child spitting out the yap. It's got the drama with the llama. I could get you to the bottom. Run the pockets proper. We create our own coma. Bell boa. I don't make no, you know it's out. Run the running pockets proper. We create our own Here. coma. Bell boa. I don't make no, you know it's out, soldier. I really like, that's something that I think Suicide Boys in, does in general, and from what I've heard, I think they do it quite well, is I think they blend piano and make it really creepy and almost sinister with their sound, which, I mean, obviously, it's a big part of that sound is this sinister, like, downbeat vibe, which I think works really well, but here in particular, like, just the way it, it comes back, because it was, in the, it was in the intro to the song, the way it comes back here. Like that. Do, da, 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 or whatever it is they're playing <laughs> is very very like haunting sounding and I think it works very well <laughs> almost sounds like <laughs> the uh, track to like a horror movie or something <laughs> I really like that scream. Like that scream in the background. I know I'm pretty much just talking production here, but like I really like the way they keep incorporating that because it just it adds a lot of oomph to the track, right? Because it's not it's not like oh like dominating at all in the sound, but it just it adds a little bit of character to an otherwise like pretty pretty basic track I feel like just a production and we have that weird do 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 like ascending my here again. 
flew her back in New Orleans. Now everybody wonder score. I'm trying to finesse the lesson into something more. I'm drawing a blank on who the fuck. Did you hear that? We have two rappers rapping at the same time. I also think that they are a group, so there's there's more than one, right? And you can hear it in the layering um, to begin with, but then it really gets accentuated at the end of that line because one rapper keeps going. I think it's the one in the right ear, and on the left ear just l like pull, accentuates the words, the word that he's ending on a little bit. Give it a listen. There. More. Pretty cool. That's groovy. I will say that I think, and that's uh, this is a general thing with Suicide Boys music for me, is that it's it's unfortunately short for me. Like, it's short and sweet, and they, they do it really well. Like, they leave you wanting more, right? Which I guess is kind of what you want to do with any art, especially with, like... I know in comedy, for instance, once you if you have a really good line, you want to end on that line, right? Because you want people to want more and want to come back. And I definitely get that feeling with Suicide Boys, because this song has just has ended and i just started getting into the groove right which i mean that might also just be a symptom of me really enjoying longer tracks um but i do think that is a bit of a weakness i guess in their style is that i feel like they could stretch out their tracks at least a minute more or something so that i could get a little bit more into it but i also think that it's a bit a part of the charm is that you can put you can listen to like five suicide uh boys tracks in like 11-ish minutes, 11-12 minutes, and that's not gonna feel bloated, because they are so incredibly short, I guess, which I just, I think it's, it works, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this song is fine, um, I might have, maybe I should have pulled up some, a lyric version or something, and I would have got a little bit more out of it, but I think it's fine, it's Nothing extraordinary. I think I prefer Antarctica just because of that, that like, hit on Locked in My Room that they do there, which I think, brilliant. Um, but it wasn't bad at all, so, want to go for, like, maybe a, a B? B? B plus? Are we okay for B plus? I think we're going to go with a B plus. If you like this type of content, please check out some of the other videos on my channel. And if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like. If you disliked it, you're more than welcome to dislike. I would just really appreciate, like, some feedback on why. <laughs> uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have any more suggestions. And uh, also, I'll be in the comments when this uh, video comes up, obviously. So I'll be answering some comments there. And subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I guess there's nothing else to say, but I hope you have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.